Hello everybody, Tornado Twins here and welcome back to our 20th part of our tutorial. Can you believe it? Time flies. And the last couple of weeks we've made quite some progress in the art department because our game was uh, looking horrible and they were just uh, gray, static, diffuse looking items and now our art is looking pretty cool. We have the new worm, we have uh, the um, we have the little cannon here. Um, however, it has not been since part 15 that we've been doing some scripting. So it's about time that we get back into our game development and get moving on our game again. Um, of course, I can show you more about all the features that Unity has. We haven't even covered maybe 10% of it. So uh, we'll do that as time goes by. But uh, first things first, there is some bugs in our games right now and you might have noticed that when you run into a fireball that is shot by an enemy, uh, so it's tagged an enemy projectile, that every now and then it has collision and sometimes it does not. So when I play for example and I just stand still, when I get hit by this cannon shooting fireballs at me, as you can see nothing happens. Even though it's very clearly I'm being hit by it, nothing happens unless if I start moving forward and then when my forward direction goes into the cannon then it does register as a hit. Now that's of course not what we're looking for and that's a bug that we need to fix. And also what needs to happen is as soon as we do get hit by a fireball we need the fireball to disappear or explode so that it does not have the opportunity to hit us again as it bounces off. So that's a couple things. So let's first uh, start off with opening up our move around script and we still only have four scripts in our entire game. That's just really, really good. So uh, if you go down to where it says, uh, where it shoots your bullet in the update function, where it checks for your, um, your key input, um, we are now instantiating the bullet prefab by using gameobject.find. Now since we're also using a spawn point that we have called spawn point in the game with the turret we cannot use game object find anymore but instead we need to type transform dot find and the difference between this is game object find looks for all the game objects in the scene so this could be a spawn point from a cannon or a turret but transform dot find only looks at the transform so that basically means our current character and all the objects that are parent or child under that object. So transform.find looks at our current hierarchy. So if you look for example at our little worm here, uh, if I select him you can see that the spawn point is part of his tree. So the transform looks down the tree to see if there is a spawn point or something by the name of spawn point. So this will help if you have some problems that for example when you try to shoot instead of the fireball shooting from you it shoots from a different turret so that helps in that and that solves that problem now next we need to look at our collision script and see how we can improve that to do so let's open up our move around script once again because this has to do with the player we are checking collision with what whatever our player is colliding with so scroll down to our on controller collider hit function or if you can't find it that quickly just go down here and say on controller collider hit and it will bring you right to that function. Now we are colliding with two items here. First it checks if we're colliding with the fallout which is what happens when we fall off the level so that's in this case not what we're looking for. And then second it looks for if it is an enemy projectile. Now at this point we need to kill the projectile so to do that is really easy in Unity you just hit destroy don't forget to close with a semicolon and then type hit dot game object because that is the object that we're trying to destroy let me save this and I am getting a little error here but this is nothing to do with my script It's just unity being a little annoying alright let me play see what happens when I do get hit we wait for the turret to be rotating correctly and as I walk into it you can see that now when I do get hit the fireball is being deleted so that solves that and next what we need to solve is our collision script that we do not only get hit when we are moving into the fire but also when we're just being hit from the other side or when we're standing still. Now to fix this collision bug this is a good time to start talking about triggers. 
Now, so far what we've used is colliders, uh, sphere colliders and uh, character controller colliders. For example, our worm here has a green thing around him and that's the character controller. Now, a character controller cannot be a trigger. As you can see, there is no option in the character controller that allows this to become a trigger. However, our fireball can. So if I open up my fireball in the prefabs folder where we saved it, you can see that if you open up the sphere collider part here, it says is trigger. And if I check that, now the sphere collider is a trigger. Now what exactly is a trigger? I'll tell you that. Instead of actually bouncing off when there is collision, a trigger keeps going. So it goes into a element. So if I run my game right now, you can see that the fireball goes straight through the terrain as it is hitting something because the terrain is not a trigger and the fireball is. Now that's fine for now. Let's just focus on the worm. So our worm is not a trigger but it does have a collider on it. So let's go to our move around script and then go down to the function on controller collider hit and then let me instead of using this line let me uh, uncomment this. Let's create a different function which is also a unity predefined function and call this on trigger enter. Now make sure that it starts with a capital and then a T and the E are also capitals so that it turns a different color and then it will parse us the variable hit. Let's just keep it the same name so that this will we do not have to recode hit and then this is of the type collider. As you can see it's a lot shorter and easier to understand than the on controller collider hit and it works just fine. Now of course our fallout is not a trigger yet but our enemy projectile is. So now when I save this script and go back into running my game I'm just gonna stand still here see what happens if I get hit and boom now you can see that when we're actually getting hit it works instead of us having to move into a different direction for it to actually register. Now let me uh, open up the fallout as well by selecting it from our hierarchy because remember we made our fallout invisible so it's not visible in our scene unless if we select it. So there's no way to select it in the scene, you have to select it in the hierarchy. And let's change this one to is trigger as well in our box collider information. Alright, so now when I run off my level, this should still work. And I'm just double checking to make sure if this still works. Otherwise, we probably need to recode it again. Here we go, falling off. And boom, works perfectly. Okay, so there we have solved our collision bug and we actually deleted the fireball as we are getting hit. Next thing, what we need to do, and we'll focus on this. Uh, in the next tutorial is actually subtracting lives as well as making sure that the fireball doesn't look like this dumb ball walking around but next week we'll look into how to make particle effects and actually make it look like real fire. So I can't wait and I'll see you then.